Hello and welcome everyone back to another episode of Ezoic Explains, I'm Tyler Bishop and today I'm going to show you how to do some SEO adjustments to your site to improve YMYL and also prep for the March 1st deadline, if you will, for how to ensure that you have uh, sponsored uh, links uh, attached to affiliate or advertiser based um, links on your website that may not currently have that, uh, i.e. Uh, Amazon affiliate links. So let's first start by looking at kind of G Google's general guidelines here. So Google has said by March 1st that they will start looking at these rel equals, which are values that occur inside of links on your website, um, as hints, quote unquote, for what type of link they are. So to this point, if you have affiliate links on your site, uh, especially something like Amazon, you should be doing rel equals no follow or should have been up until this point. Um, if it's a link that you want someone to follow because you're linking to a first party source, whatever links you have in place now should just be normal follow links and um, no change needed. But if you do have affiliate links on your site, one of the things we've seen recently is sites impacted by having no disclosures on their website and also not having no follow attached to attributes where they're linking to an affiliate. And so now, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to both add the new version of the uh, rel equals sponsored to all of your links on your site quickly without having to do it one by one. That would be very daunting. But we're gonna show you how to do it before March 1st while adding some additional uh, information to your site for uh, SEO as it relates to authoritativeness and then also full disclosure. So here I am inside of a WordPress website that I own. Today we'll be doing this on WordPress. Um, there are some commands in here that you'll see that I think are very easy to replicate on any type of website or CMS. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into my plugins. I have them pulled up here already and I've got one right here. There's a bunch of different ways you could do this. If you use monster opt-in, um, that's another way to do it. It could work on any site because it's just a simple script. In my case, I'm gonna use this free plugin called FMTC Affiliate Disclosure. Um, it adds zero load time to the site. That's one of the reasons why I like it. Um, once you have searched and installed this plugin um, or use monster opt-in or anything else that can quickly add uh, HTML or text to the top of your site. You can see here I have added some text that says disclosure we may earn money um, or products from companies mentioned in this post via affiliate links to products or services associated with the content in this article. So if you do have affiliate information on your site that is linking out to something that someone might buy or use the service of and you're tracking that, you wanna make sure that you disclose that. I've seen a lot of sites impacted recently because they are essentially touting content as you know the top 10 vacuum cleaners on the internet as if they are an unbiased party when in reality they're actually linking to you know 10 vacuum cleaners where you can buy them on Amazon. So in this case, you can save that and what you will get then is you will get these disclosures at the top of your page. So you can see a disclosure like this will appear at the top and it just informs your visitors that you may earn money or something from the affiliate links on this page. Now, I mentioned early on that I was gonna show us how to improve um, the upon our links so that we were essentially showing the rel equals sponsored. So if you're like a lot of sites, you have a lot of pages that may have no follow attributes or no attributes at all attached to them and you may be concerned that this March 1st deadline will come and you're not able to quickly uh, remedy your site. No worries. Um, there's a simple way of doing this and it is basically find and replace. So if you've ever edited a Word document before, you'll know that one of the most useful ways of handling something sometimes is to find one word and replace it with a different one. And if it's in a document a whole bunch, um, it, you can work through it really quickly by say, find and replace all. And you can do something really similar on your site. Uh, in this case, I'm using a plugin called CM On Demand Search and Replace. So if you actually go into plugins on your site, you can search for this one, it's brand new. I've actually used this one for a really long time. Again, at, I like it because it adds no page load time to the site. Um, you can search find and replace. And you can see uh, there are multiple ones here and the one we wanna use is CM on demand search and replace and it looks something like that. 
So if I go in here, I can see basically what it'll do is it'll take any string, whether it's text or HTML on my site, and upon page load, it'll change the string from one thing to the next. So in this case, what we want to change is the link. So here's an article on my site where I have links to a knee brace that is linking to uh, Amazon.com where I will earn money if the person clicks on that knee brace and then buys said knee brace. So in my case here, I actually want to go into the HTML and a quick way to find it on your site to find out if you even have rel at all is to search something like Amazon or if you are using um, Blue Ribbon or someone like that as an affiliate, you would just want to search that and find this link. So you can see here, I have rel equals no follow on the site, but unfortunately for me, I don't want to change this across my entire site for all Amazon material um, because that would take me forever. So what I'm going to do is copy this and add this as my from string. Now, my to string, I'm going to go here and I'm going to add sponsored. And so all that's going to do now is anywhere on my site where I have a rel equals no follow, which was kind of the current best practice for Amazon affiliate links. And now I'm going to say, I just want to take any time that occurs, and you can see I put amazon.com here, and that way it'll handle all my affiliate links, not just the ones that are headed to this knee brace, and it will change that word to sponsored. So by doing it this way, I'm only grabbing the links that are to Amazon right now, which is what the vast majority of my affiliate links are, and what I would guess uh, a lot of sites on the web. But you can do this for any type of affiliate that may occur on your site and do this automatically. And then you would just have to click add rule. And once you do that, it will change it across your site thanks to the CM on demand search and replace plugin. And so you can see here, what will happen is now from now on, anytime this attribute occurs on my site, it will add this. You may ask yourself, but Tyler, I don't even have no follow attributes on my site right now. Uh, no need to worry. Luckily for us, what we can do here is if you do not have any rel follows uh, information, you can actually do the same thing by changing your from string to something like this and then just adding the rel equals sponsored. So you can see here, all that does is it's going to take once again the string link here and it's going to replace it with this one. Don't get too uh, concerned about the code here if you're a little freaked out by that. Notice that all this is doing is it's taking a tag here where it starts with an A. You can see it's a long affiliate link here. And then it hyperlinks this text and then it closes it. And that is um, right here is where it's closed. And so all it's going to do is go inside of this link and then add the rel equals sponsored to it. And that's it. And we're finished. And hopefully that will help you both A, add a disclosure to your site if you are making money off of affiliate revenue right now, which should help you from an SEO perspective slightly. Um, but even if not that, when March 1st comes, you'll be really happy about Google's adjustments um, when this is starting to look at it as a hint, we still don't know what that will look like, but at least you have solved this problem and you have gotten way ahead of it if you do it right about now, which is at the end of 2019 when I record this, but um, 2020, March 1st is the deadline for this. So if it's past that date and you're watching this video now, welcome either way, but you can add that rel sponsored very easily using uh, these simple commands. If you're not using WordPress, you can do a simple find and replace throughout your files using multiple different mechanisms. So hopefully that has helped you. I am Tyler Bishop, and this has been an episode of Ezoic Explains.